Morning everybody, it is Tuesday morning. Normally I come to you live every Friday morning, but it is Tuesday morning for a special edition of Ask a Painter. Uh, I received a question from Ellen Bartizal, a local New Prague resident here, was wondering, how do you patch holes in textured walls like this? This one happens to be a knockdown texture. Right? She had an, uh, an orange peel texture on her walls. Um, uh, and I thought, you know, I'm on a job site right now doing this, uh, and I have a couple great examples to show you actually uh, on an actual job site that I'm doing. So uh, for this particular patch, uh, there was a, a larger hole in the wall. Uh, first thing I do is, uh, for this one, I used a vinyl spackle instead of regular drywall mud. Um, it dries a lot quicker. Uh, it's not very easy to sand, but uh, what, what, what it lacks in, uh, you know, sandability, it makes up for drying time, uh, and it also doesn't shrink at all. So you can do a larger patch like this. Now, this one was not a through and through, which means there wasn't a, just a huge hole in the wall. If you have a hole this size, you wanna back it up with, you know, you cut out the piece of drywall and you patch it in with something like this, possibly using a paint stick as a backer in there to give it some heft. Uh, but this one wasn't, it was just an indentation. So I used vinyl spackle right over the top of this here. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to mimic the texture in this one and then I have another one downstairs here where I actually textured and I'll paint it and I'll show you it uh, blending it in a little bit. So after I patch it like this, you want to kind of blend the patch in a little bit. And after you get it relatively flat, uh, what I do is take the corner of the sanding sponge and sand a little more around the edges to sort of get into these indentations because uh, you don't want them perfectly flat. Okay, so now we're ready for texture. Um, I normally carry a bunch of different textures with me, whether it be popcorn texture. Uh, this one ends up being uh, an orange peel texture, uh, but it doesn't have to be just orange peel. Uh, you can actually knock it down. Now, there's a couple different textures. Uh, a lot of them are specific to areas of the country. Uh, you know, you'll find in coastal regions down in the south, some hand troweled sort of plaster look where they just trowel on the drywall mud. Uh, up here, uh, you'll find a little bit of orange peel and knockdown. Now this particular texture is a, is a very light sort of knockdown. What they do is they spray lightweight drywall mud onto the wall and it sets up for a little bit and you actually take a putty knife and lightly, lightly knock the top off called a knockdown. And that gives you a sort of flat texture. There's, there's little lumps and bumps everywhere, but the top is sort of scraped off so you get a relatively uniform texture. So that's what we're going to mimic here. Uh, Ellen, uh, who wrote in the question, she has an orange peel. She would not knock it down. You would just leave the lumps on the wall uh, and, and try to blend it in like that. Now, with any of this stuff here, uh, do some practice. <laughs> get some cardboard, go out in the garage, something, just to get the uh, feel of this. There is a lever on the top of this one here. Uh, I have it set to the finest setting. Uh, if you spin it all the way over, it goes to the heaviest setting. Honestly, there's not a lot of difference between the two. Uh, and also, uh, if you do the light setting, you can always add a little more. So uh, I'm going to show you here how we, how we can do that. So you just apply a light little texture like that. And the, the secret is to let it set up just enough where it's not too liquidy and it's not going to completely wipe off. If you let it go too far, it's going to be hard to, to knock down with this too. So uh, with this, this is sort of a fast drying sort of thing. So it only takes maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds to do it. Uh, it looks like it might be a little heavy here. We'll see how that comes out. The good thing about this is, uh, you know, worst case scenario, you can just wipe it off and start over again. So and it looks like it's just about there. So very light pressure. Yeah, and it looks like it got a little little heavy here so I flattened it out and I'm gonna clean off the tip I'm gonna go a little farther out this time like that and then we'll blend that guy in so again we'll give it a couple seconds to set up here and these cans I've noticed are very volatile one can is not like the other one so when you're going to do this especially with the popcorn texture the popcorn texture is the most volatile uh, of all. A whole can like this can be evacuated in about three seconds if you hold the nozzle down. So it's a very, very tricky. All right, so there we go. Knocked it down a little bit. If you have any 
any high spots or little bumps that you don't like, what you can do is come back and just give it a light, light sand to do that. But otherwise, that's how you sort of blend in the texture. And this one, it's got that light haze around the edge. That actually works in your favor because it blends in with the, with the texture around it. Now, I'm going to take you guys downstairs to a patch that uh, I, I patched. I applied this texture. I'm going to put a coat of paint on it and show you what to expect. Flip this guy around here. Walk through my job site. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have a patch that I, uh, I, I did uh, some, some training with my crew the other day where this was a complete through and through, about the size of a baseball. So what we did was uh, the old painter's trick of cutting out a square uh, using a painter's uh, stir stick, a five gallon stir stick behind it, screwing it in, and then applying the half inch drywall to it, screwing it back in, so then you have a you have a stable base, as sturdy as any any standard wall. And then uh, we patched it with vinyl, let it dry overnight, sanded it, and then I textured it yesterday. I'm gonna get a little paint on here. So that when it's all dry, okay, so. That's a pretty good blend there. Uh, you know, I am not a drywaller, but uh, I like to take care of these four people because there's, uh, there's not a drywaller in the world that would have called these people back and helped them out with just one or two of these in a house. So uh, this is a really good fix here and uh, this will be serviceable. And you're also not setting up the next homeowner for failure by just rubbing a bunch of uh, vinyl spackle in there and then next time somebody puts a finger on it, it'll punch through. So this is the correct way to do patching in knockdown or orange peel texture. So thank you guys for watching this Ask a Painter 42 and a half. I'll be doing my normal live show this Friday. It'll actually be a collaboration with the PDCA. I'm going to do a live walkthrough of a brand new construction site that I'll be working on and uh, I'll have much to say about my new construction process. So you pros, you homeowners, if you've ever had questions about how to do new construction the right way, I'm going to be walking you through a lot of steps this Friday, probably at noon, and uh, the link will follow. Thank you guys for watching.